Getting ready to record MIDI is the hard part. Now that we have a routine established to take us through that process, let's make a MIDI recording and learn how to use Live's MIDI overdub function. So I'm set up to record here, but let's just double check everything. So I've got a MIDI track here with a MIDI device loaded on it. The track is record enabled. I'll hit a key and I should hear sound. Okay. I've got a tempo established at 100.5 BPM. I've got the click or the metronome turned on. And if I right click on that, I can see that I do have a one bar count offset. So I'm ready to go. Now when a track in live session view is record enabled, the clip slots launch buttons turn into record buttons. And I'll just take that out of record enable so you can see they go back to a stop button and then re-enable it. Okay, so to start record, all I need to do is click the record button. I'll hear a count off and then I can start playing. So I recorded the kick and the snare part, and I want you to notice that when you record in session view, Live doesn't truncate the clips that we're creating to an exact bar. We actually have to do that manually. So I'm going to go down in here to the MIDI editor, and I'm going to grab the loop end, and I'm going to drag that over to the beginning of bar 3. So a 2-bar clip should end at bar 3, beat 1, or a 4-bar clip, for example, should end at bar 5, beat 1. So if I want to add some other parts above that, I can turn on Live's overdub MIDI switch here. Now notice that the clip doesn't have a record button on it anymore, but if I go into play and I hit any keys on the keyboard while that clip is playing and the track is record enabled, those notes will get added or merged with the existing MIDI data. If the overdub button is off and the track is record enabled, I'll hear the things that I'm playing, but they won't actually layer or record onto that clip. So I'm going to add some hi-hat parts. So I've got a little clip going here, and at this point you'll notice that not everything in my clip actually lines up with the beats. There's another way to do this same process and actually have Live fix it on the fly. So at this point I'm going to create another track. Let's go up to the Create menu and insert another MIDI track. And I'm going to drag Beat Bugs out here again and drop it on the track. And now that one's record enabled. Now on this pass, I'm actually going to go into overdub mode while I play the part in. And I'll do each part consecutively as it loops. So to do that, one of the things I'm going to need to do first is I'm going to actually have to insert a clip on that track in which I'm going to record into. Because I can't actually go into overdub mode until there's actually something to overdub into. So I'm going to choose the clip slot that I want to record into. I'll right click on that and choose insert MIDI clip. And before I go into record here, I'm going to turn on record quantization. Now quantization for MIDI is rhythm error correction. And we're actually going to go in depth on this in a later video. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose 16th note quantization. Leave the track and record. And for right now I'm going to stop that other clip from playing so that we don't hear that. And I'm going to set the loop length here before I get started as well. So right now it's only at one bar long. Let's actually drag this out and let's make this a two bar loop. And again, that should end at bar 3, beat 1. So we can see the whole thing. I'll size that. Okay. Click the play button. I should hear a count off, and I'll start playing. So we can see that I've recorded my drum part for this, and it's all looking like it's perfectly lined up and ready to go. So we finally reached the point where you're ready to use Live to record some clips and begin putting together your own songs. Have some fun!